Hello everybody, it's me, Sugar Song as always, and today we're going to be working on some Miyazaki stuff. I'm going to be making Chihiro from Spirited Away, if my skin did not give it away. We're also going to be making um, Haku in his dragon form. I found some pictures that it will be kind of rendition to the Kiki's delivery service right beside this one, and I'm going to build it right beside Kiki here, and as you probably could tell, I build San from uh, Princess Mononoke as well, and uh, yeah, she was like a side profile, and I thought this would be perfect for, you know, what I've already done here. Um, also, <laughs> you'll see me take out, down a lot of these parts as well that I'm putting up right now. Uh, this did take a long time to make, and I'll say at the end how long it actually did take me once we get there. Um, every time I do stop the video, that is just me um, looking at the picture that I do have and counting it, just like before in all my other videos that I do of this. Um, yeah, I thought this would be a fun little thing to do since I am back from my vacation, and I worked on it a little bit before my vacation and I just got it finished today and so yeah I thought it would be fun to um, put it up onto YouTube since some of the other stuff wasn't working with uh, the microphone having a issue I don't know what that's all about but we'll figure it out for the future um, for now though I hope that you enjoy this speed build of uh, Spirited Away's Chihiro and Haku I thought they turned out very good with the blocks that I used. Also, we are in um, 110, I believe. Let me double check that really quick while we're while I'm building away here in the background. So, how have you guys been? My trip was amazing. Got to see Leon in person, and uh, yeah, he's just as quirky and crazy as he is in uh, on the internet. And nothing really changed. Alright, so we're actually in 1.12.2 for this build. I always uh, make sure that when I'm building in Minecraft, especially for all of you guys, that I'm in the newer stuff because of the fact that I don't want to like build something that is going to be hard for you guys to get to or actually be able to build. Um, I always make sure that I'm in the new Minecraft's uh, updates um, for this particular area. Um, and if I need to change things, I will. <clears throat> for example, I'm probably going to change Link's hair eventually. But I will just do that off camera and then show you guys at the end of Link. I'm planning on maybe doing it because it's a little bit bright because um, he's not supposed to have too blonde of hair. It is blonde but not like bleach blonde and it's kind of what it looks like right now. Um, when I do show that uh, particular speed build you'll see what I'm saying and then I might do it just then and there. The only reason why I haven't actually posted it yet is just because I haven't had time to like edit down the uh, speed builds yet. This didn't take as long as Link did and so I decided to do this one really quick for the speed build stuff that I do on my channel. So yeah, and it gives me a chance to talk to all of you guys that are either new to my speed builds or new to the channel in general. I do have a welcome to the channel um, video. It's kind of old now. And I'm feeling like I should do a new one. And I'm also wanting to do um, kind of like the best of for like different uh, videos I've already done. I'm th thinking about doing that for Undertale. I'm not sure exactly what day it will come out. But I know I want it to be in December sometime. You'll, It's kind of like um, the best of Undertale. The best moments in Undertale. So it will like be a crop to together type thing with all the like the best moments that happen in that particular gameplay so yeah there's a lot of fun times and uh, when me and Leon were playing Undertale and I thought it'd be kind of like an homage type thing um also we are 
almost to the 40 mark for people. We were there for like two days and then like two people left. And I was like, ah, darn it. So we were there, but now we're not at 40 anymore. I'm also planning on um, getting bubble gum for this thing. That's going to be a live stream soon. I don't know when that's going to happen. I got to get the gum first from this website. And I'll say during the video where I got it from and all that great stuff. So if you guys are wanting me to... Uh, basically, it's going to be me chewing bubble gum every time I die. And I don't know what game I'm going to play yet. I know it's going to be a rage game. So either way, yeah. Rage all the way. Um, I'm probably going to ask Leon what, what would be the best uh, option for that particular one. And we'll see in the future. Or if you want to leave comments down below on which game you want me to play with the bubblegum challenge. Just let me know in the comments. Uh, you can leave them in the comments or go on to my Twitter. Leave them there. Whatever you want to do. Um... So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed all the pictures I put on my Instagram. Um, th there's a lot of stuff on there. And, uh, obviously on Twitter as well. I made sure everything I posted was on Twitter itself. By the way, let me tell you, this whole part right here with her hair, um, I screwed up so many times. Like, it's not even the right length right now. It's like... It's shorter than what I actually originally started off at. So I thought it had all the the numbers right. And you know, when you're looking at a picture that's pixelized, you don't know exactly uh, where stuff goes um, initially. And obviously, I do uh, watch uh, a lot of like different shows and sometimes YouTube itself when I'm doing this stuff. So it's like, um, I, I'll get the numbers wrong every once in a while. By the way, yeah, I, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm actually wearing Chihiro's, uh, skin for this build as well. Um, I think it kind of showed that in the beginning. But just in case if you didn't know, I'm actually wearing her skin on Minecraft as well. And then I real- uh, by the way, this whole area is still wrong. I, I start to build it up, and when we actually get a little bit farther in- when her uh, actual shirt comes along, you'll see what I mean. I need to hydrate so bad. Oh, yeah. And at this point, I decided since her shirt's supposed to be kind of like, you know, fabric or whatever, I decided to use wool edges for her shirt, even though I was using clay for her green stripes because of the fact that the other greens were too bright. I knew that they would be too bright. Um, so I wanted to make sure that I use like a darker type greens. And that's why we, I have the uh, two different kind of clays. Um, I guess they're not really clay anymore. They're like Tuscany or whatever. And like, uh, uh, what was the other one called? Concrete, the concrete slabs or whatever they are now. But I'm still going to refer to them as clay because they look like clay uh, if you color it or whatever. So, like, all the, um, like, the I use concrete in the Tuscany ones. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, but the Tuscany ones, for me, will always be clay because that's usually, that's what they were beginning with. So, the lighter color that you see of the green, I believe, is the clay, and then, like, the darker one is, or sorry, scratch that. The darker one is the clay, and then, like, the lighter one is, uh, the, um, concrete. And, like, I use a lot of the concrete, like, the blue and the yellow are also the concrete. And the black, the main black that I use that isn't the wool, is also the concrete wool. Um, I do use that a lot for, like, the outlines of, like, her hands and, uh, the outline of Haku. Uh, basically, Haku is, like, completely made out of the concrete stuff, like the gray concrete and the white concrete. Because the white is not white, white. It's, like, an off-white. And I thought that was perfect for, like, Haku's, like, colors. And then, um, with Chihiro's, like shirt it's like 
her main shirt is like wool and then like a gray wool and then the stripes are the concrete and the the clay basically is the best way to describe uh what is going on here um i'm just trying to get all the outlines of like the blue area first that's what i decided to do to kind of try to make it a little bit more simplified but honestly when you're doing something this close and you're starting off on something you're going to end up uh screwing up with the numbers and you'll notice that when I'm doing a speed build of it it happens a lot more because like obviously I'm not fully paying attention to what I'm doing because I am doing two things at once I could be talking to Leon about something or other or I could be watching something and I'm not fully paying attention but I'm still kind of counting the numbers in my head or like thinking that's where the block needs to be it's so like I really multitask when I do these so like it's kind of like a calming type thing I just like doing them. As you could probably tell, I did Kiki without doing like a time lapse build, and uh, yeah, I just like doing them. They are very calming to me. And if you're wondering, yeah, I can pretty much do um, anything as long as they're a certain size. Uh, so, like, for example, if I wanted to get like the size that could fit into Minecraft. Which is, um, I'm not exactly sure how big it is. That I do have the this Undertale picture that I'm working on as well in the background. Eventually I'll show it off when it's done. But, um, uh, it's basically, it's not a pixelized picture already. So what I did is I, uh, made it the size that it can be. And then, um, basically took it into paint and then use a grid system to basically give me my grid that I need to make these and basically as long as I have a grid I can pretty much make anything if it if it's like a grid type picture basically like this picture right here was a grid picture that somebody else made and I'm glad that these are out there for other people to like make stuff and like it's a little bit harder when it's like grid paper because you can't really see where the lines are at unless you're like looking it at in person. So it would be a lot easier if it was like if someone like would make it like in a program that makes it look gridded off. So and obviously with stream like better lines that people do. Like this one, the lines were very clear on where they needed to be for each uh, color and like where their lines were at. Like there's not like any uh, pixelized like lines that like look like they're all messed up. Like in the Undertale one, uh, that happens a lot because of the fact that it's not pixelized already for me. So there's all these like extra lines that are off the lines so I think I need to put them in there when I don't it's like the little gray stuff that's off the lines it's the best way to describe it so yeah sometimes I do have to deal with that like when I first did the first Legend of Zelda one there was a lot of that stuff for her dress and all that great stuff. I am planning on rebuilding her and I do have a better picture for her. It's just I haven't had the time to like uh basically do a bigger project like that and that's why like Undertale's not taking or taking forever as well. And you'll see when I'm using in Chihiro, it'll switch. Um I'm trying to basically put in where the cloth would be and where her skin would start so like anytime like it would be closer to like the skin area I would put in the uh concrete whereas like if it was closer to the um shirt I would put in the wool to make it look more texturized 
And that's, like, just a little tidbit for, like, if you guys want to do something like this to make it look more like what the fabric is, the best way to do that is to actually have the texturized uh, blocks already do that for you. So, like, if you're thinking about um, something that's furry, you would want to use more uh, texturized blocks. So, that's just a little tidbit for the future if you ever do, like, big builds like this for Minecraft. You want to just uh, use the blocks that is going to be close to what you're actually building. So, like, that's why with her uh, shirt here I use... Um, mainly for the outlines, uh, the wool. And then I tried to make sure that I can use mostly wool in her shirt. So, like, obviously I can't the whole time, so, like, outline that area with the wool. So then that way it looks, like, more like how a shirt would if it's being worn. So, just a little tidbit for the people that are starting out. I think I kind of explained that better in the Majora's Masks, uh, like, tutorial, because it's made out of completely out of, like, the new concrete and, like, the old clay, which is, like, whatever it's called now, and, um, I think I explained it better in that one, but, yeah, this is just a little thing, and then, like, usually hair I use in wood, because it has that, the, like, the what hair texture kind of has is like those like little lines that you would see and like literally what hair would do if it's like in the sunlight because like the wool now uh or sorry the the wood now does like this weird shine that it sometimes do when you're farther away and like hair and like skin kind of do that it's so like normally I would uh, for skin now, I use, like, sand for, like, the lighter areas, and for the darker areas, I use birch wood, as you can see I'm doing right now. Um, like, I've said many times before, sand is a pain in the butt, so just be kind of careful when you're using it. Make sure that you put down where you want the uh, main block to be at for the sand, and then you fill in, you know, where the like, the other block would be, like, in this case, it would be birch wood. As you probably can tell, I'm doing that right now. So, like, obviously, as you can see, sand's fall, so you don't want to use sand unless it's, like, in case with something else. And, um, yeah, the, that's another little tidbit. I, I know I said that many times before, but it's good to have a reminder, guys. So, yeah, uh, this, uh, this build took a long time, and I'll say the actual time, um, at the very end here, and, um, yeah, I had a lot of fun making it, and, like, it was split into two parts for me, because literally, uh, half of this was made before I left on my trip, and then the other half was made when I got home, so it was, like, super weird going back into it. Because you're like, man, this is what I what I did, and I have so much left to do. <laughs> like, I don't even remember exactly where I left off, but let me tell you, it wasn't very far. I think all I got was what I'm doing right now is, like, the hand completely done, and I'm not even sure. I knew that I had to redo a lot, though, because, like, I started to, like, take off blocks, and I was like, ah, crap, no. <laughs> Why am I not recording? So, some of the blocks I kind of took off without recording, and I was like, eh, nah, who cares? <laughs> you know, like, what's another two seconds of, like, doing stuff, you know? Um, and now I, I might be able to point out where that is. I'm not exactly sure where it's at, but, you know, what are you going to do? By the way, um, the format for how this is done now is different because before I used to have two monitors and one monitor would have uh, this on it <coughs> and then my picture <sighs> but now I just have one monitor so that's kind of why it looks a little strange when you're looking at it because of the fact that um, 
it is one monitor. So I hope it's not too terribly to look at right now for comparatively. If it is, um, let me know and I will try to go back to the two monitor. But it might be a little bit harder because now I have a bigger monitor. And I kind of don't want to get rid of it. Or get a bigger desk with like a smaller monitor. Where I would just have the Minecraft and everything play. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Or I can try to make it bigger. So yeah, just let me know, guys, if this is okay or not. I think it's fine. I mean, it's like you're looking at it in window mode like I would be. Oh, boy. Yeah, there's the darker green. <sighs> it's been a long day, guys. And Thanksgiving is just around the corner. It's like... It feels like I've been going non-stop for, like, the last few days, which I pretty much have been because of the fact that I uh, went to uh, Sabacon and then met Leon and was at Sabacon for, like, two days, and it felt like forever because, like, of the fact that we had to go back in the plane and all that great stuff because <laughs> and then we had to drive for two hours, you know, which is always fun. By the way, we're nowhere near an actual airport because that's how small our town is like we have an airport in our town but it's mainly for military and uh so we have to like literally drive a hundred miles just to go to an airport so yeah like this is this will tell you how small my town is guys I have no Walmart in our town like literally there's not a Walmart we have a shop go but um that's just recently new and, like, before we used to have, like, this other place that pretty much went out of business and then Shopco came into town. We were hoping that we got a Walmart. Then I could say, finally, we have a Walmart in our town. But, nope. Walmart's like, nah, you guys are too small. I don't care if we go through your town or not. We're not going to set up shop here. You guys suck. And it's like, oh, great. Thanks, Walmart. You're the best. But, no, I think we had too small of a building for them. And they would have to spend money to make it a bigger building. That's literally, I think, the reason why they decided, nah, we're, we're not, we're, sorry, but we're not coming to your town. It's like, crap. It would have been nice to have Walmart, but, like, at the same time, I think, like, all the like, littler, like, uh, shopping places would have gone out of business down Main Street. And I'll be like, well, there's no point for us now because we have a Walmart. Woo! You know, and it's like, well, that's not happening. So I think that's why even the town was like, no, nah, we don't really want a Walmart. We want a sh something else. Shopco, okay? Shopco? Yeah, Shopco's fine. They don't have actually, like, fresh produce or nothing there. It's just all, like, you know, chips and, like, frozen food there. So, you know, what are you going to do? And then we, we actually do have two places that, like, sell fresh produce. But, you know, I don't know what got in the topic of this, but, you know, <laughs> Thanksgiving, that's what. Because everybody goes shopping for Thanksgiving. And then everybody goes shopping for Black Friday. And in our town, there's literally no sales, really. Well, there is, but no one goes to those places for sales they go out of town for sales because there's not a walmart or any other place that really does big things for black friday in our town because we're too small so you know what you gonna do what are you gonna do nothing that's what you're gonna do yes go out of town to go black friday literally oh sorry again Oof, sorry my bad I was, I'm still, like I said, very tired. But, um, anyways, so, like, the people that actually go out of town for, like, Thanksgiving just stay, like, an extra day and then go to, uh, Black Friday sales. But we have Thanksgiving at my house every year. Every year. So it's like, there's, like, no way that I could get Friday off. Because I work at a place that 
you know, only gives you that Thursday off. Which is, you know, most places, but, I mean, they frown upon taking off the next day because they've already given you a day off. Like, literally, that's been every single place I've worked. It's like, ugh, come on, guys, you know I'm, I'm good for it. But then again, I was gone for about a week, so it's like I don't have any money for Black Friday anyways. So it's like, yeah, but, like, um, you know... I'm hoping that I can get into, like, Cyber Monday, but I doubt it because I'm not going to get paid again until Wednesday of next week after Cyber Monday, after Black Friday. So it's like, uh, And the, even if I did get paid, it's going to be a really small check because I was gone for a week. So it's like, meh, you know? <laughs> it's pretty terrible right now. I mean, what are you going to do? And... Here's another thing, too. I still have to get Christmas gifts for almost literally everybody. Literally. I have to get one for my dad. I know what I'm getting for my mom, but I gotta order it. And then, you know, like my brother, I already got his, so there you go. And then, like, when I was at Sabacon, I got, like, my friend a thing, and then I got my other friend a thing. So it's like, you know, I got a lot of people done, but at the same time, I know I have, like, two more. And plus, I also need to shop for Secret Santa now, too. But I I, I opted into that one because I like Secret Santa and stuff. We didn't, I didn't get to do it last year because we didn't do it last year. So, this year, they're debating it, so they're on top of things this year. But whatever. You know, what are you going to do? You're just going to sit there and not do anything. That's what you're going to do. Oh, sorry about that. Anyway, so, um, here in a little bit, you'll see that, um, that her shirt is the wool, and that even though that he has the dark, um, concrete right beside it for Haku here, uh, it won't look weird because of the fact that you'll still see the, uh, outlines of the, uh, well, like, the texturized of the wall, like, you'll be able to see it. Plus, it, like, gives it a little bit lighter, um, coloring for it. I don't know. Oh, yeah, and then I kind of did the, this on Kiki, too, and I believe Son as well, where the shadows of, like, their cheeks were made out of the, like, the white or, like, the peach-colored um, clay, I think it's like the original clay, I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but, um, it's, it's the peach color that you get for, like, this, like, the best skin color in the whole entire game, or in this whole entire game, and I use it for, like, cheeks, for, like, the rosy cheeks, I did that in, like, the Kiki's Delivery Service one, I did that for her cheeks, I don't know if I did it in song, because I, I didn't get a good look of her. Let me look really quick. Hold on. Uh, excuse me. My bad. Yeah, I'm just recording all this in one session. It's like if you were actually here. Oh, was that the breaking point? Look, wait, hold on. Stop for a second. So when you saw me come back into the world, that was actually the second day when I started actually working on this, I think. I'm not exactly sure because it was so quick, um, but I'm pretty sure this was like the next day. And I'm looking at Son right now, and actually how she was made, her main skin color is that um, block, which is called the white clay one. It's the Tuscany one or whatever, Tuscan eye. I, got, I call it the clay still because that's what originally it was. And then her white, like her highlights of her skin is actually made out of uh, the bone block. And like obviously her main um, uh, like uh, hood is all, all made of, out of sand and like a little bit of, um, what is this, white powder. I'm looking at it right now. 
Yeah, some of it took a long time, too. If you want me to remake her for a speed build, let me know. I might do a different one uh, with her and, um, shoot, Takinaka, or... I think that's how his name, Takihaka. Takihaka? I don't know. Anyways, Takihaka? I think so. I think so. Prince Takihaka? Sounds right. Ashitaka. There we go. I was saying it with a T. Wow. Terrible. Anyways, I'm thinking about doing another one of her with him in it as well. Or just the mask itself. Because the mask itself is pretty cool. Um, I don't know. I'm just doing the girls right now, to be honest. Because I have found these, like, really cute, like, small, like, looking, um, pictures and I'm planning on maybe between uh or above Kiki and uh between San and um Sen I guess her, uh, well her actual name is Chihiro but they call her Sen at one point but I'm planning on putting it right above Kiki and between those two probably maybe Ponyo um if you want to see that uh give this video a like and I will do it. Um, if not, I might just do it on my own. Um, but there's another thing that I'm working on that um, I have built uh, over onto the side here that I'm planning on doing a kind of like a tutorial and a speed build for. So, like, I'll be talking over it. Yep while I'm talking for it, and then, like, during, um, the speed build portions, you won't be able to hear it. Um, also, there's gonna maybe be a speed build for, uh, Princess Anna and Elsa as, like, a different way, and then also I have, um, Jack Skellington and Sally a different way for those two as well behind them. So, like, I have, like, a lot of things I did, but I haven't <laughs> been able to do it yet. And then, um, I don't know if it'll show it. I'll definitely know if I'm on the second day or not. I'm pretty sure I am. But I went and decided to build, like, this really cute, like, like cats on top of each other. Kind of like the little, um, dongos, I guess they're called. Uh, they kind of look like that, but, like, they, they have cat ears and, like, a cat tail on them, and they're really cute. So if you see that in the background, it's definitely the next day, because I decided to build those guys, um, before starting this again. I needed to take a break from this. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, if you guys, if, if you guys ever make any of this, you understand, like, when you work on something too long, you kind of need to take a break of it and then come back to it, and then you're fine. But, like, I, I do that all the time. So, like, most of the stuff, like, I built Peach um, in the world again, by the way. She's here now. And then um, I'm planning on rebuilding Rosalina as well and using my old picture as a reference because I really liked how I and oh yeah, it is the second day. <laughs> I just saw it in the background. But I'm planning on rebuilding Rosalina as well. Um, I know I already built her for the channel, but she needs to be back in the world again. So yeah, I'm planning on rebuilding her as well. Eventually beside Peach this time. And then I'm gonna build uh Bowser up again. I don't know if I did him or not. And I'll look in my channel, but um, if you guys want Bowser too, just let me know in the comments below. Um, be like, more Bowser, more Bowser. I don't know. It'll be like the Paper Mario's Bowser again, because that's the ones that I picked out for this world to have the paper ones, just because of the fact that we have wool and, like, wood, and that's pretty much what they're all made out of, except for, I think, Toad. No, I think I changed him since there was the new stuff. I don't know. I don't remember. It's been so long. And then, um, yeah, it, 
I'm hoping that you guys like this because I really want to continue on making this kind of stuff. And, like, obviously, um, this is a lot funner for me as well to make all this stuff, and I like doing it. Also, uh, still planning on doing something for you guys for Christmas. It, hopefully, it'll get done before Christmas. I gotta talk to Leon again, but... That won't be until after Thanksgiving, so hopefully we can get it done. Um, and then I got to talk to Adam, too. So, yeah. Yeah. It won't be anything of this, so. Although, I could do something with this. If I really wanted to, with, like, a texture, like, this, like, there's another texture pack that I could do something with, or, like, a, um... What's the other thing called? Um, like a world, basically. It's basically like a Christmas land type thing, and you can make Christmas lights and, like, make them blink and, like, do all this, like, crazy stuff like you could in the real world. But it's like a Christmas pack type thing that you can get through Minecraft. or Well, it's not really through Minecraft. It's, like, from the Minecraft forums. Like, I have Sky craft or whatever it's called now for, from the forums and uh yeah I could do the same thing from for Christmas time um if you guys are interested also um I, I don't know maybe I should play like a, a rage Christmas game like find a ragey type Christmas game like uh something that's like it's like just rage inducing with Santa Claus in it, like he, he has to hurry and get the presents done or something, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. Because, like, I know I need to do that kind of thing for the gumball thing, and I still need to get the gumballs. I'll probably be when I get paid or whatever. So, and by the way, they're not going to be, like, just normal gumballs. They're going to be, like, different flavored type gumballs, too, by the way. One's, like, cotton candy, another one's, like, pop flavored. And, like, that one has, like, um, Coke in it. And I hate Coke, so. <laughs> I know, that's such a weird thing to say, but it's true. All right, guys. Getting halfway there. Um, but sorry that there's no music in this one. I just wanted to get this one up right away for all of you. Um, so I pretty much decided to talk throughout the whole thing. I hope you didn't mind that too much. Um, me ranting about random crap while we built this. And a little bit of my process while I'm building it as well. Um, but yeah, I, I uh... Sorry that I couldn't, it wasn't just because I couldn't find anything for this, but I probably could. It was just because I didn't want to spend more time looking for that stuff and spending time putting that stuff in here and making it sound softer and stuff because obviously I would want to talk every once in a while and sometimes it's louder. Anyways, um, yeah, I, that's kind of the reason why. Uh, there's no music this time. By the way, at this point, I realized that something was wrong, so I was trying to fix it, but I was doing it on the wrong side, and you'll find out here in a minute or so where I basically, um, cut off everything to a point and restart because, like, her cheek was over one extra block, and that's what was screwing up this whole side, so I was trying to figure out Oh, do I make this one bigger? And, like, the thing was, it wasn't the bigger. It was, uh, needed to be over one more. And I didn't realize it. And I thought maybe it was the ear I screwed up on. But, no. It was, uh, way before that. And I won't realize it until it's, like, way too late. Because it's, like, her whole shirt here is screwed up because of it. Um... So, yeah. I thought it was this whole side. So I started to take off that whole side.
I thought I had it figured out. Although it is kind of true that uh, that did need to be over one more, or I guess back one. I don't know exactly. I had to explain what I thought was wrong at this point, and I thought maybe I I counted out this wrong, which made that whole thing wrong. And it wasn't this at all. It was her face. Again, eventually I will realize it, but like not for a while. And like you see how I cut off that whole side? I started realize I realized it and I was like, oh man, that's where the problem was. And I started cutting it out off camera. I was like, oh crap, I need to record again. It's so, like you just missed me like um breaking a few blocks. That was it. And uh fixing up a little bit over here because I started breaking it, but I was like, no, that doesn't look right either. So I took a step back and like really looked at it and realized I even did this side a little bit wrong for her hair. So like even her hair was like a, needed to be up one more or whatever. Um, you'll see me re put in the gold here in a little while and just screwed up like big time because of the fact of where her face was supposed to be and where those blocks were supposed to be. So you'll see me re-put all that back and then I just did. And really that's what takes the longest when you screw up like something. You have to just take a deep breath and uh, redo it. You know, it's if you want to make the picture look right, you have to uh, make sure that you're counting right and make sure that you're doing the stuff right. And I mean, like, yeah, screw-ups are bound to happen. Like, it happens to me all the time. Don't worry about it. Just uh, fix it up and continue on. And don't give up on your uh, your picture. Because, obviously, you picked it out for a reason that you wanted it into your world. Like, obviously, I wanted her here because of the fact that I had the other gals uh, over there already. So I wanted Chihiro in here as well. Just because that I thought it would be a good um, thing to put in there as well for the rest of it. And uh, eventually I'll have Ponyo over here too. I want to uh, have all the Miyazaki girls at least over here. Um, and if the new one gets added, she'll be added too. So like eventually I'll, I'll be putting in um, uh, Sophie and everything as well. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to put Sophie in yet. I do have one picture of her and Hal. But the problem is, um, it seems like it might be too big. I'm not exactly sure. Well, if I decide to, to do it, it might be um, somewhere else. Or it might be like a little bit down farther. I haven't decided yet. And if it is in here, um, I probably won't do it on camera just because of how big it is. Unless you guys really want to see it. Uh, let me know now, also, in the comments below, um, or just, like I said before, just like this video, and, uh, I will just assume that you want more Minecraft builds, and that would just mean an indication that you want to see, uh, Ponyo and, and, uh, Hal and, you know, all that stuff, and Zelda too, so, if you like this video, um, I'll do it for sure. And obviously, if you're like following me on Twitter, just like give me another little, little shout out. Be like, yeah, do more Minecraft stuff, cause it's awesome. I'll be like, ah, oh, thanks. Okay, you know, like, cause that's the whole reason why I started the tutorials in the first place. Cause one person said in the comments a long time ago that they wanted the tutorial for the speed build of the princesses. And that's why I did it, you know. Um, obviously, I kind of wish that I waited until now because of the fact that uh, there's more blocks, but I didn't change them at all. I decided to keep them how they are. And, uh, yeah, you know, um, I still think that they look really good. And uh, maybe I may put Moana in there eventually when she becomes an actual princess. Even though uh, Alice isn't a real Disney princess, she is in my book. I don't know if she is or not. I don't think she is. 
I don't think she's an honorary princess in like Disney eyes, but in my eyes she is. I like uh I like Alice. Anyways, um if we went with the Disney rules, do you think that these girls would be a part of the Disney princesses? Like obviously um, Princess Mononoke would be a princess automatically because she was born as a princess. And, like, literally, same with Ponyo, she would be the princess of the sea. But, like, would Kiki and, um, uh, Chihiro here also be part of the princess guilds? I think Kiki would because she does save her friend, even though it's not, like, like, the world, she does save her friend from, like, dying in front of everybody, and, like, you know, that's showing, um, you know, courage in a way, and, like, uh, saving somebody, and showing a great feat, you know, because that's another thing, part of princesses that, in the, like, how Disney decides who's going to be a princess or not, uh, for Mulan, they put that in there, but, like, I don't know if Chihiro would be considered. I mean, like, considering of what she actually did, which was, like, literally uh, fight for her parents, uh, uh, her parents not to be pigs anymore, and, like, literally almost forgetting who she was and, like, coming back to, like, saving Haku's life and, like, basically changing the lives of everybody there, even, um... Yubaba's life in a way and uh I mean like even her child was like at one point just like at home forever and even though he's huge uh, it seems like he's way older than actually a baby but she treats him like a baby and then like Chihiro comes along and saves him and like no face as well she kind of saves his life in a way and he ends up living with Zeniva and all that stuff, you know, I feel like she would be a princess just in that wretched butte. I mean, like, literally, she saves a god twice. Well, one god, anyways. God of the sea or whatever. Well, a spirit of the sea, sorry. And then, like, Haku himself was a spirit, or a river spirit, so, like, she saves so many spirits just being there. And I feel like that's valid enough to retribute to being a Disney princess. I mean, they technically, Disney helped uh, Studio Ghibli bring them to America. So I think they should, they should be counted for, you know, and like maybe recognize a little bit more than they are. Because like literally every story that um, Studio Ghibli's, and Miyazaki makes is just amazing, and I feel like they're being, like, neglected, you know? I mean, like, a lot of people know them, obviously, but, like, not everybody. They weren't, like, mainstreamed movies. They were just brought to DVDs right away for, like, the first few. I feel like they would make a killing in theaters if they were actually brought to theaters again. I mean, I think Ponya was, but I'm hoping that the new one will be too. I'll have to look into that and see if it's actually done. And then uh, Arietti, who's like one of the little borrowers, she can be considered a princess of her tribe because there's not very many of them left. And she does end up probably with that one guy of the other tribe, and he seems like he was pretty important. I don't know. Uh... My my little rant of uh, Miyazaki movies not getting what they deserve. I like Miyazaki a lot. I would like to meet him in person. That would be like a dream come true. And like actually being a voice actor, that would be another one as well. I mean like talking to um, people at the convention and all that stuff. It was kind of like, man, I wish I could do that, you know? And like obviously... Uh, a lot of people have disabilities that do that stuff, you know, and it's kind of like, well, as long as someone reads it to me first and then I can, like, get the idea of what the words say, then I can, like, basically repeat it and then, like, put emphasis into it, like, how I normally talk. And, um, 
hopefully the bridge series that we're doing, which I've mentioned before, um, will show that here hopefully soon. And like I said before, we're trying to get that done for Christmas. Um, uh, so the bridge series hopefully will be done by Christmas. Well, at least one of them. <laughs> the other one, I don't know if it'll ever come out because honestly, I don't know how to uh do certain things. But like the this other one is made just a little bit differently, so I can like basically make it myself. So you'll you'll see you'll see when it's actually up on the channel eventually. Yeah, I have talked about it a few times and I'm not sure what videos it was in, but this will be one of them. Which uh one of my videos does say like search for the videos where I talk about it. Yeah. You'll you'll understand when it's actually out. So we're getting to the point where we're almost done. Um working on Haku as the dragon when she uh finds out that he's alive and she's like, It's a miracle. It was really funny, also, this one time when I was on Facebook, and someone posted a picture of, like, Howl's Moon Castle, and I, like, totally, like, 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 do you know this movie? Of course I know this movie. I can even tell you what's happening in the scene. Like, literally, I remember it, like, detailed. And <laughs> someone's like, dang, you watched that enough? And I was like, eh, not enough. <laughs> not even close to being enough. So, you know. Anyways, so yeah, this is almost done. We have like maybe like another 20 seconds or whatever. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I, I enjoyed making it. I always do enjoy making these. Like I said, it's kind of therapeutic to me to make these. It's a lot of fun to make them. And I uh, have a good time making them because then I can watch uh, YouTube or Netflix or whatever while I'm making them and it doesn't feel like it takes forever at that point because like literally you're doing more than one thing at once so yeah yeah so we're getting to the end we're getting to the end um Haku is probably the easiest part it's probably why I left them last I was like yeah I'll just leave them last like there's like some shading in there but I don't think it's as the hardest to hear because she has more blocks whereas Haku has like mainly three except for his like one scale which is like once like like maybe like five block radius of like blocks of like the turquoise uh concrete but like literally he is made out of like the gray concrete and the white concrete and like literally that's it it's like light gray by the way not the dark gray and um the black concrete that's it he's made out of three colors except for his like scale on the very top of his head and I already did that so it was like I knew that this part wouldn't take too long but like at the same time they're still shading with like the different blocks and like making it kind of look like scales in a way and I wish that I would have uh, chose something that looked more scaleless or scaly, but um, literally I did not want to put powder, like the powder blocks that we have now. I did not want to put that in here just because of the fact that it would have taken a lot longer to do. And uh, yeah, that I it was a decision that I decided to go with, and I think it still turned out really good um, for what it is. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm glad I got to join or have this time with you. And I will show you the finished product here in a half a second. So I'm going back and there is the finished product. I hope you guys liked it. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye bye everybody. See you later alligators. <laughs> After a while crocodiles. <laughs> Terrible. Just Okay, bye.